they play double big so much. What does that kind of front court size or ability to spread it out with that group really do to stress your defense? And why do you think it was such a challenge this whole season, really? Um, I mean, I thought they tossed a lot of different lineups at us. I think at times, whether they went small with Clark at the four or whether they went big with Stokes at the four, um, I thought we could have done a better job of getting some high lows, especially when Clark was playing at the four. Um, but I don't know. I think moving the ball a little bit better, obviously. Like, we struggled to struggled to shoot it again very well. I mean, I thought we played really good defense and put ourselves in a position to, to win the game. Um, missing nine free throws really hurts us. So um, I think we could have done a better, little bit better job uh, adjusting and trying to exploit the certain things that you can, um, whether they're giving us a small lineup or, or a bigger lineup. No, Jacob and Matt. Caitlin, all your points coming in the second half tonight. Was mm -hmm. there any sort of adjustment you made at halftime to kind of lead to, to that turnaround? Uh, no. I mean, it was definitely a tough first half, but um, I think just, you know, reset, going to the locker room, reset, and honestly proud of myself for how I finished, put together a, a decent game. Um, obviously, would have liked to see a couple more shots go down um, and make a couple more free throws, but um, I thought I was able to respond and bounce back well, and that's that's sometimes really hard to do, especially when you know you get some tough calls there in the first half that don't go your way, and then you know the ball wasn't really rolling my way either to start the game. So um, proud of myself and uh, proud of our team. I thought we were resilient. <laughs> there was a lot of things that just didn't just didn't go our way. So, um, but overall, I think we kind of did it to ourselves. Um, I'm proud, like I said, I'm proud of our defense, but there was just areas where we could have, you know, executed a little bit better than made for throws as well. You know, Matt and Alexa. Yeah, Caitlin, okay, well, last time you hit the base in the basket, uh, mm, you know, yeah, the, that's crazy. The, mm. the ref told you it was disrespectful. Mm -hmm. um, I was just wondering if you got another explanation tonight. Well, I mean, yeah. they're never going to overturn that. It's just one of the rules, I guess, um, of the game. So it's in the rule book. It is what it is. Um, that's why, I mean, I tried to get my last one taken away. They just didn't take away. Um, and it stinks because I feel like at, Half of my technicals this year, I got one for the inadvertent contact to the face in the Minnesota game, and then two for hitting the, the stanchion of the basket. So it's like one was a complete accident, and then the other two were um, just a little frustration with myself. So um, I think I could have done a better job um, keeping my emotions in, in check, but at the same time, like, really? <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, <laughs> But it is a rule, so they have to call it. I get it. It's just, it's tough. Well, Alexa and Christine. Kaylin, um, two quick ones, if you don't mind. You broke the single season assist record today. Mm -hmm. It's also, you know, the Asia broke the points record for mm -hmm. single season. Kate, or, uh, Angel did for rebounds. Just for all this history that you made mm -hmm. with, you know, you, you three, you individually, how cool is that to see throughout the season? I'll let you maybe mm -hmm. start that one and then yeah. I guess we call it. I mean, I think it definitely just speaks to the whole entire year and like how it, historic it has been for this league and how great the basketball has been for the league. And, you know, we're not even to the playoffs yet. I think that's what's so fun about it is you're just going to continue to see, you know, records be taken down, but also I think really good basketball. Um, and that's why it's been so fun to watch. That's why the fans have been showing up. The viewership has been, you know, absolutely crushed this year. So, um, I think everybody's just kind of raising their game. The competition's just getting better and better. And it's fun as a competitor to show up in this league every night and know you have to bring your best because, you know, who's ever on the other side of the court from you, they're going to bring their best. And that's what makes it fun. So um, it's been cool to, to watch everybody really, you know, take a step up and elevate. And to be a part of that has been really fun for myself, too. And then um, just going up against Vegas, obviously they're kind of the gold standard having won the last two championships. What do you feel like this group has learned about what it takes mm -hmm. to go up against a team like that and, um, you know, the small details that much matter to, try mm -hmm. to them? Yeah, I think, I mean, I think we have moments where we're, where we're really good and then we have moments where we, you know, have some lapses. Like, to beat a team like this, I feel like we said this so much this year, like, we can't have Christy calling a timeout right to start the third quarter. Like that's something that just can't happen for us. And I feel like that's happened so much this year to start the second half is like having to use a quick timeout because they go on a 5-0 run or a 6-0 run or something like that. So um, I think we clean up that area, but at the same time, I think it should provide us some confidence. You know, every single time we've played this team, we've gotten better and better and closer and closer. And to see how far we've come from where we first started, I think it was their, our seventh or sixth game of the year. And uh, I think we gave up 99 points and lost by about 20. So, and now I felt like we were really in this game and, you know, 
we convert a few more times and convert our free throws, you know, hopefully we're walking away with one. Christine, last one. Yeah, Caitlin, so zero points in the first half. You come out and you have those two threes and the crowd's going crazy. And I mean, this crowd, high school football night, right? And it's yeah. packed to the awesome. rafters, unbelievable crowd. Can you put us in your shoes, in your head a little bit? What does that feel like when you're bringing this team back? You get those two threes, the crowd's going crazy. You're doing your stuff. <laughs> Can you put that into words for us? Thanks. Um, I mean, it's definitely energizing. Like, I feel like that's something people appreciate about my game is I play to the crowd really well. I know when to, um, but also it helps me too. Like, I, it's not just like, you know, to help our entire team. Like, it helps me. I hope it's fun for them. Like, you make a couple shots and you know that the fans got your back. Like, the cheer they let out when I made that first layup. Like, you could tell it was like, ah, oh, finally, this girl could score again. <laughs> um, but no, I mean, I felt I feel very lucky to play um, in this arena and in front of a fan base that's supporting, you know, women's basketball like the way they are. And like, <laughs> like it's a true sellout. Like, it's packed to the top. Like, people are here to screen. Like, it's hard for us to get tickets to for our families. So, um, I, mean, I can imagine it's hard for everybody else, but uh, I think as a player, like, that's something that you just thrive off of, like, hearing the crowd go crazy. I think especially on defense, like, if you can put a little run together and go down and need to stop and you hear them and you hype them up and they listen to you, like, um, you feel kind of powerful at the same time. So it's it's definitely fun. I mean, I wish we could have got the, got the win for them, but um, I know Sunday's going to be a lot of fun, too. Kelsey, that Vegas team's going to be the only group you guys don't take down this year. What was it about them that was such a tricky matchup the rest of the year? Uh, they are interchangeable, um, an interchangeable group. Um, I think, you know, they are at least eight. They can play one through four um, in different positions. And, you know, down the stretch of being a pro, you learn how, how to deal with situations like that. And I, I'm far short of trying to get that done. No clubbing than Matt. Yeah, Kelsey, you had 19 points in the first half. What was working for you when, you know, the flow kind of just wasn't there in the first half? Uh... I, I can't really tell you what the flow was. I just I just try to stay aggressive um, whenever my numbers call, whenever I'm playing in space um, to get to certain spots and do my best to get there. And I, you know, I feel like momentum for me is always staying aggressive and getting downhill and, you know, making making people defend. And, you know, I try to do a good job of keeping my teammates included in the process. So for me, it's about finding, like, rhythm where I can and also being a complete player on both sides. No, Matt and Maddie. Yeah, Kelsey, on Wednesday, um, you were saying that as a leader that you needed to, you know, sort of help the group bring the confidence. Um, tonight was closer. Uh, yeah. You, you know, you, you didn't get the result, but um, do you think that you brought that confidence enough to win? I think so. I think that it came down to um, a little bit more logistics um, for us. It's about, you know, we, we're, we experienced something that we haven't experienced before tonight. And I think that, you know, we could u u utilize it as – as fuel for the playoffs, but I think that this was a good, you know, step in the right direction considering how what history says about us in playing Vegas. I think we made a lot of great steps today. Go Maddie, then we'll go Lou. How do you think in a game like this, how do you stay mentally sharp or poised when it's it feels really back and forth, kind of roller coaster, you're down thirteen at one point, yeah. you come back and tie it. Yeah. Um, I think for one you gotta be a competitor. I think that's just a part of the game. Um but for two, I think for us, we stay poised enough to get back in the game, and it just goes to show what kind of group you're dealing with. Um, so I can pat ourselves on the back for not giving up. Um, but not giving up is just not enough. So I think we got to just keep going back to the drawing, drawing board and putting in more work. Go low, don't go Alexa. Kelsey, the other night you, you described the game as a grind. Yeah. And it didn't feel the same way today. There was a little more flow after the first quarter, especially. But oh no, it was definitely a grind. Yeah, I mean, and what made that difference? And and, and, and your offense was better. Yeah. As a group. Yeah, I think that I think that we did utilize our film session yesterday um, to find where we can be effective on both ends of the floor. Uh, we try to adjust um, to Edge, to who Edge Wilson was and utilize our defense and let it fuel us. But I think down the stretch it came down to just you know they just have to be a really great group and hit tough shots and you know. Um, I think a lot of positions, you know, it's better, great defense and better role at that point. But I think that we did um, adjust and look at our film and go from looking at film and applying to what we um, watched yesterday. Alexa. Kelsey, you guys have been talking about this being almost like a mini playoff series for you guys to prep for down the road. If, you know, with that in mind, what do you feel like this group can take about what it takes to, you know, take down a top team and really execute, uh, you know, 
against a really good squad? Um, I think a sense of focus. Um, I think that we could tap in a little bit more defensively. Um, and I think the dis the discipline on both ends of the floor will help. Um, not easy smackdowns, being in the right position, you know, personnel. I think all that plays a part in the, into you know being a playoff team and making a playoff run. Um, I think that we try to do a decent job of taking what we learn and from you know going to the games. But I think ultimately it comes down to being a complete pro. And I think that we shot ourselves in the foot a little bit on the free throw line. So I think if we you know you know it's not the end be all, but that's a part of being a pro. And I think that we have to take take away for that is, is to stay focused on what's right and what's correct. And our, our discipline showed that we missed free throws tonight, so it could have helped. But. Tony, last one. Kelsey, from a team and individual perspective, what do you want to sharpen these last two games going into the postseason? Oh, man, I think if we can stop trading baskets, so to speak, uh, we call them kills. So if we can get three stops in a row and then go score, we get a couple more kills, I think they'll serve in our favor um, going into the playoffs because um, those kills and getting those stops, uh, while you can get them, is very, very important because down the stretch when you don't, you kind of play and catch up. And I think that we don't put ourselves in that position going forward, you know? That's the only team that you guys won't have taken down this season. What specifically about the Vegas was so tricky for you guys? I think the other night it was um, we just couldn't put the ball in the hole. I think tonight, you know, you, you hold Vegas to 78 points. You, you keep them under 20 for three of the four quarters. You know, I, honestly, you, you know, we missed nine free throws at home. Like, we battled. Um, I just keep telling them, like, we're, we're, we're right there. And they have to believe it. We just got to make sure we take care of business with things that you have to do. I mean, I think they only had one offensive rebound all night. I mean, we did some of the things that just we that hurt us the other night. But, you know, you got to get to that free throw line and make those free throws. Is there anything specific you'd like to see your iron out in these last two games to feel fully ready for the postseason? Yeah, I feel like we, we come out of the half and we – I don't know what we need to do to get off to a better start. The second time I've had to call a timeout, I think we they went on a 5-0 run and I just took it real quick. And then I think we held them with 12 points after that. I mean, those are just things that like, you know, that's what good teams do. Like we don't, we, you, you don't have a lull to come out of the half. Like it's the first three minutes, you have to play it. Like it's the last three minutes of the game to start that moment. Yo, Jacob and Chloe. Kind of alluded to this with the missed free throws, but Kelsey and Caitlin both kind of had a sense of letting this one get away or kind of shooting yourselves in the foot. Is that a sense that you have after tonight? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, Vegas is, is one of the best teams in this league, and we held them to 78 points. And, you know, our defense keeps getting better, but we've got to just make sure. You know, we, we did have a couple of defensive breakdowns late where we didn't get out to, I know, Kelsey Plum late in the corner. Um, we just have to do a little bit, but, you know, better job communicating. Uh, but like we, you know, we got to make sure that we're taking the best shot for our team. We had some great high-low looks during the game, especially when they had Clark at the four. You know, we just got to make sure we always talk about getting that advantage, that advantages, mismatches at time. We have to make sure we we take advantage of those. Go Chloe, then we'll go Christine. Yeah, um, Caitlin mentioned, you know, she knows hitting the stanchion is, you know, a tech, but it's still tough that she got it in the first quarter. Just what kind of conversation did you have with her about that when she was on the bench? I'm sorry, the first part of that question mm -hmm. was what kind of... Oh, hitting the stanchion, she knows it's like a bad, but, you know, it's still tough. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> you know, she's just, we've just got to make sure that we don't let outside things that we have no control over, like, affect us, um, especially early in the game. You know, I think she, uh, she got fouled and missed those two free throws and then, you know, got frustrated um, with the officiating at times, but like that's where we've got to be better and we've got to, you know, handle those things. It's not going to be perfect. Those guys aren't going to be perfect. We're not perfect, but I think we lost some, some time with, you know, with that frustration. So that's just something we're talking about. We're growing. Um, and then after that, she came out in the second half and was, you know, she let it go and she was a different player. And that's, you know, just can't have that first quarter lapse like that. You know, Christine and Alexa. Christy, following up on that. At halftime, do you, is there any conversation with her? Do you see a change? Because you're right. I mean, she comes out and is, you know, just as you said, her own self, incredible. Almost, I guess she didn't quite have a double double, as it turns out. But I think she did. Didn't she? Well, took away an assist. Apparently, they took away an assist, according to our expert over oh, here. Oh, okay. Anyway, it was a double double or close, and played great, right? Well, can you kind of tell, walk us through that? I mean, is is there any conversation at halftime, or or does she kind of? self-reset 
Yeah, or is there a little combination of both? Thanks. Yeah, I think it's a, it's both for sure. You know, I think we talked about you know just that first quarter, and and we can't let that affect us so much. Um, you know, the officials let me handle the officials, um, and then I know she had a conversation. Jesse Miller is her her, um, her coach that she spends a lot of time with watching video. They I know they had a conversation, and then I talked to her right before we started. I mean, she just needed a reset. I mean, she's. You know, she's just passionate, she's competitive. Um, you know, she's just gotta be able to move on to that next play. Uh, Lexi, go ahead. Uh, Christy, you've mentioned kind of a few different things that would apply here, but what is your message, I guess, for to the team after a game like this or after the last um, two about kind of the gap between, you know, the teams like Vegas that obviously the gold standard won two championships and you guys, when you guys are right there, but what it kind of takes to get over the hump and beat a team as good as them. Yeah, I mean, that was my first, I mean, when I walked in the in the locker room, they have to know that we're there. Like we, you know, we've worked our asses off um, to, to get to where we are. You know, just being um, consistent with their effort uh, daily since we got here, just it's been getting better ever since um, on both ends of the floor. And, at, at, you know, when we played Vegas early, we weren't there. You know, and they got us. But right now, like they've got to really believe that we are there with those guys, um, and, and I think they do. And now we just have to find ways to not have those lulls that we're having. Um, the first quarter, start of the third quarter. You know, we just can't have those. If you're gonna, you know, that was that was playoff basketball out there tonight, and you've got to make sure that you know you are um, not giving them any opportunity to take any advantage of, of times where, you know, you're frustrated or, you know, it's just not going our way. And we take several possessions off. You just can't do that with these great teams. The last two, Brad and Brian on the right. Christy, a little more kind of about the playoff conversation, two losses here, but can you take some from the collective of these 80 minutes that you learn about when you get to that in a couple of weeks to say, okay, when we're in a playoff setting and we need a W on the road, we can do X, Y, Z better than we did this week. Yeah. I, I mean, it's, it's the execution. It's the, the bounce back from um, the frustration. Um, I think we took what we did against them the other night and learned from it and, and totally fixed some of the things that had really helped us, especially on the on the defensive end. Again, you know, make, making that free throws changes this game, or, you know, just making a few of those, not even all night. Um, when you're at home, though, that's you've got to put the ball in the hole from the free throw line. And, uh, but we will, we will take something from this. We made it like a, a playoff series, you know. So right now we're going home because we just lost two games. So we've got to regroup, figure out what we can do to get better, get ready for Dallas. Um, players are playing a lot of minutes. We've got to make sure we get them some rest and get what they need so we're ready to go on Sunday. Brian, last one. You had a chance to tie there with 30 seconds left and Aliyah took a shot. Could you talk us through that possession and what you're looking for in that play? Yeah, you know, people know – it's going to be really hard to get Caitlin a shot in those possessions. Like we want to make sure, like she, you know, her, between her and Kelsey, you give them both options. Um, in that play that we ran, they had a pin and they had a, a hammer action on the weak side, and they're going to take away something. So you just have to be ready. And K A B came to me right before she said, "Coach, do you want me to spread out to the to the corner three?" I said, "Be ready because they're going to take that shooter away." And she was. It was a great shot. It rimmed in and out. I mean, that was a great shot. This girl has gone and worked really hard on that part of the game. I have a lot of confidence in her um, to take that shot. I mean, teams are going to scheme against Caitlin Clark and Kelsey Mitchell. They're going to do everything they can to make somebody else take that three. Um, so it's just on us. You know, got to find a way to, to get the ball in their hands and let them take it. But I was so okay with that wide open three by Leah Boston right there.